Good morning. Here we are at the Indian Peaks Wilderness at the Long Lake Trailhead. And we're going to go for Shoshone Peak via the Pawnee Pass. We're going to hike past Long Lake and then we're going to get to Lake Isabel. Look for the right hand turn to Pawnee Pass. Head up the pass. And then once we get to the top, but we're probably going to go left and go over to Shoshone Peak. It's just under 13,000 feet and supposedly has some of the best views in all of the Indian Peaks wilderness. Okay, it's about 6.18. I'm getting ready to start the hike. And we're headed up to Pawnee Pass. Four miles. And we're to our first trail cut off here. And what is it? Oh, the Jean Lunning Trail. That basically goes around the south side of Long Lake. We're just gonna do the normal side right now. Our main target is Pawnee Pass. We're gonna put all our energy into that. This way. There it is, Shoshone Peak. For people in Kansas, Shoshone. We're at the Pawnee Pass cutoff, so that means we've come two miles. It's taken us just under an hour. So we got two more miles now to the pass, and then one more mile to Shoshone Peak. It is really pretty up here. There are a lot of wildflowers still. I mean, we're almost halfway through August. And look over here. This trail is really pretty up here, wow. What's going on here? Oh, I need to go this way.
are starting to open up. Like I can see that peak over there. Not really sure what it is yet. Super rocky and pretty and awesome. I love this hike so far. We got some more up. getting closer but it's still pretty far away like well over a mile this really has the feel of a really epic hike and we're not even close to the top yet. I can't wait to see the views from the top. And here we are, we made it up to Pawnee Pass, and also the Continental Divide, 12,550 feet. And then right beyond it here, you got Pawnee Peak. That looks really easy right now, I really want to do that. Pan over, you got the pass right there. And then to get to Shoshone Peak, looks like we're going to have to go up and over this. Somehow. We're skirting our way around the side of this big giant pile of rocks right now, trying to get over to the nice rolling green tundra of the slopes of Shoshone. And I come around the corner and I see a giant notch. So we have to go all the way down and back up that thing. Man. This turned from a really fun, beautiful, easy 
hike into rock climbing. And it's not like you just get over that one little rock pile. It's you got to traverse it pretty far. And then there's a big notch on the other side. And you got to climb up the notch, which is where we're at right now. And it's finally starting to level out to that green tundra walk that I read so much about. The end is in sight. That's the main knob of the summit. Then we're just gonna have to go over that and then up the final uh, block to be on the true summit. We're gonna get it though. We're, we are gonna get it. No hike fail today. Definitely some exposure there. Got some more exposure there. And you get to walk past this little narrow section right here to get to the top. Shoshone Peak, West Summit. And this is the real one, like 12,967 feet. Here's a little panoramic of the summit rock here on Shoshone Peak. It's not too big up here. It's about 1230. It took us just over five hours to get up here.
See that's a sheer drop right there? You gotta maneuver this. I hate this part. I seriously, seriously hate this part. I'm like hugging this rock right here. Tread lightly. Shoshone Peak, East Summit. If you come to do this hike, learn from our mistake. That's the Pawnee Pass sign right there. And instead of heading up and over like we did, stay way down here to the side. Stay flat and go around. And you'll come out flat with that notch over there. And you'll thank me. we just did that that was awesome not an easy hike though when it's 10 miles and then you add in that loose rock and talus hopping that makes it a lot harder and now 
now we get to go down a bunch of switchbacks. Look at them all. This feels like about a year ago we were down here. This has been a long hike. I feel like we've been on this Pawnee Pass Trail for ever. Three hours it's taken us to come down this far. Three hours. I cannot even tell you how good this feels right now. Our feet are beat. This hike was really hard on the feet. Lots of going over rocks where your feet are sliding around. That's what gives you the blisters. This feels amazing right now. It's the foot equivalent to having a pepperoni pizza. Mmm. And a beer. Yeah. Boy, looking back at Shoshone Peak, and that looks massive from right here. I cannot believe we were up there. Wow. That was an epic one. Now we just need to go down the last two miles, past Long Lake, back to the trailhead. And my feet do feel better now. Still going here, walking past Long Lake. I say we got maybe 10, 15 minutes left, hopefully. This is like the forever hike back. Feels like it's taking forever anyway. We're already like four hours into it. So we're, ah, I see the cars. I see the cars. Yes. It's about five o'clock right now. We left at about 6.20 or so. So that took an hour, 10 hours and 40 minutes to get to the top of Shoshone Peak. But it was worth it. And it was an epic peak. Until the next hike, y'all. Peace.